2011 sees the 20th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog. And to mark this momentous occasion, Sega is releasing Sonic Generations, which celebrates the key eras in Sonic's history, and where for the first time ever, you can play as both modern and classic Sonic. But what's the story behind the famous hedgehog? I'd had conversations with the CEO of the company about what needed to be done for Sega to compete in the United States marketplace. The conclusion was that Sega needed a new iconic mascot other than the current Alex Kidd. The management was aware that one of the things that would be necessary was their own strong character. The view at that time was you needed a mascot, typically a platformer, that brought to life your brand. Sega really wanted to create its Mickey Mouse, so the company started to ask all employees to come up with ideas. One person who heard this rallying call was Naoto Oshima. ここ but it wasn't all plain sailing for Sonic. On receiving the character and concept art, Sega of America felt that Sonic needed some adjustments for the Western market. I was asked to redesign Sonic so that he could actually work in terms of advertising and merchandising. We really believed in the redesign of the character, and he needed to be the face of Sega. Sonic the Hedgehog was released in June 1991, and the reaction was remarkable. And the rest, as they say, is history. To mark Sonic's birthday, new release Sonic Generations will allow gamers to play as Sonic from both the classic 2D and modern 3D eras. ま、クラシックのステージはより密度の高い 3D のステージに逆にそういう元が 3D だったステージを今度はクラシックで遊ぶと 2D のプラットフォームアクションとして遊べると。Look out for Sonic Generations on your shelves from November this year.